guys and welcome doing another drawing today as you can see today I'm going to draw another character from the Motu line Gigor evil fighting gorilla and this is the classics version of that earlier concept now this more up-to-date design was pitched by Emiliano Santaluccia and given to the four horsemen to be greenlit by Mattel and finally sculpted into this fine figure by the four horsemen Okay, well, I'm just adding the inks right now. Drawing his armor. Centerpiece there. Shoulders, arms. Arm mounted. Uh, shields. And his axe. Signs in there. I've added myself. Straps, legs, arms. It's a cloak. Add in the collar, space, another large scale beast that was repurposed from the Big Jim toy line was Gigor, or Gigor, I don't quite know how he's supposed to pronounce his name, I mean I've always called him Gigor, but uh, your guess is as good as mine. Roger Sweet went to work creating a prototype. For some strange reason, he decided on a colour scheme that made the creature look alien. Green skin with yellow hair. He also gave this ape-like creature a red cape. Several pieces of armour were added and a shiny black helmet. What a combo, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it's almost as if Superman, Darth Vader and King Kong had decided to have mixed relations with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and this guy was the result. Despite the fact that this figure was never produced in the 80s, several concept drawings were made of this character, showing that it was being considered for development. Back in 1984, Ed Watts tried to redesign the gorilla entirely, drawing him with red skin with metallic parts facing his body. Another concept drawing sees the gorilla with more armor and two shoulder mounted guns. Also, he would have been marketed as another steed for He-Man. Anyway, back to the sketch. I'm just uh, fin finishing coloring in the uh, his axe there. A few bits of shading around the face and arms. Orange shading there. More shading. Darker this time. colouring in his cape, what bit of his cape you can see. Red band. Uh, colour in his helmet, it's purely black, black all over there. It's black armour, strap. Across his trust chest there. That's the 
perfect contrast to that yellow and green, I'd have thought. The colour palette does go well, actually. Considering that you're looking at a huge honking green yellow gorilla. <laughs> Following in his axe. Black axe, as was featured in the uh, original concept. By Roger Sweet. Guards and there we go. The design across his axe there, shading in grey. Now I'm going to just go over the black lines again, just to make the image pop more. His fur. Next, then, his shin guards, right arm, chest. There we have it. Oh, let's get a bit of background shading with pastel, a bit of red and oranges, brown. Show it's in battle. <laughs> there we go. Finished. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and commenting. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you all next Monday. It's bye from me and from him. Goodbye!